guys, welcome back to my Practically Imperfect Life. Today I thought I would give you a little update video on how things are going with our high school math now that we've made a couple of changes this year. Uh, to give you just a little bit of a backstory, just real shorthand, we used Saxon Math for ages, and Saxon Math has always worked really well for my kids. They like it, they like the way that there is a predictable number of lessons followed by tests, they like the continual review, how they're, you know, constantly going back and looking at concepts they've previously done and really building that mastery of them. And then the new material is introduced in small amounts so that way they can have time to really start to understand it and lots of practice with it before it pops up on a test. It is just something that has worked really well for them. It's something that you know, I've, I have found really easy to follow along with as the teacher to be able to help them with that. And so we had switched when my son went to high school, he switched to doing Shoreman math, which was all online. And there were things about it that were good. And there were things about it that we kind of found over the years just did not work well for us. And so this year we made a change back. Now, if you want to find out more of our reasons why we decided to uh, leave Sherman math and go back to the traditional Saxon math. I have a curriculum review playlist where I went through all of the things we did last year in pretty great detail, what we liked and didn't like about it and what are what the, my thoughts were and what my teens thoughts were. So I would encourage you to kind of go back and see that I kind of go through both the good and the bad and you know, don't sugarcoat anything. So that way you can really see what worked and what did it and why. But this year, I decided to take him back to traditional Saxon. So here is his textbook this year. This is Saxon's advanced mathematics course. So this is the last high school math course he is going to have to take. And he is a junior. He does not need calculus for what it is he hopes to study. Um, he will probably do like a dual enrolled math class for, um, for his senior year, similar to what my daughter is doing now. So it is, you know, a good beefy textbook. We like that it is, you know, a physical textbook you can open up and, and read. We just, uh, I don't know, my kids even have said, like, they really just don't like being on the computer for all of their schoolwork. They like having a physical book to look at. And so it's, it's nice in that regards. And it makes it very easy if he's doing a problem, you know, for example, if he's doing a problem and he needs to reference back to an earlier lesson, then he can. He can more easily kind of flip back to that lesson versus having to find it on the computer and click to it and go to it and read it. But then he's got to go back to the screen he was on and he's constantly flipping back and forth between screens. That was super frustrating for them with the online math. And so they just find that a bit easier. Um, along with this, I do have my teacher solution manual. Let me grab that. And this is one of the things that I had missed horribly <laughs> when they were doing the Sherman math, I missed having a physical solutions manual. I had always purchased these with the Saxon math program. And if you do Saxon math buy the solutions manual, it, it's so much better than just having an answer key. The answer keys simply give you the, the answer to everything. Whereas the solution manuals show you how to work out every single problem step by step. And this is super helpful to me as the teacher one, because there are, there are concepts that I have not done regularly since, you know, I was in high school or college. And so it allows me a chance to kind of review how it is that we solve these problems. It also helps me to figure out exactly where it is that my kids are stuck. If they're working out a problem and the final answer is wrong, I can go back through the steps that they've done, compare them to the steps in the solution manual and see exactly where it is they got off track and be able to help kind of guide them to getting back on track with that problem instead of just saying, well, your answer's wrong or your answer's right. You know, it's here's where you are kind of missing a step or where you kind of went off track. Try this and then they can usually finish the problem up themselves. So this is just a, it's a saving grace as a teacher. It really does help me to be able to be a more, you know, efficient teacher for them being able to help guide them through those problems better. So I, I do highly recommend that you get these solution manuals. And I mean, as you can see, all of the problems are just worked out in great detail. It's well worth the little bit of extra money to get that. And when I purchase our Saxon math kits, I get them usually from Rainbow Resource and they sell a whole homeschool kit. There's different types of kits. So you can get 
just the textbook and the tests. You can get the textbook with the homeschool packet, however you want to do it. I usually get the kit that has a little bit of every, has everything included. So I get the textbook. I get the solution manual. I also get the test form booklet. So this has the test that I can then copy for my students to do. And then the homeschool packet, which includes um, like my answer keys to my tests. It also has answer keys to like some of the problem sets and things like that in there. So I just like to get all of those things. That way I have everything that I could possibly need to help them through these higher levels of math. And you might go, well, maybe I don't remember higher level math or um, I was never strong in math. And so how can I possibly do it with just a kit like this? Well, again, that's where the solution manuals are super helpful. Um, it just lets me kind of be able to kind of revitalize my brain like look through at that problem and say okay that's how I solve that kind of problem and there are times where I have to look back at their lesson and um, that's kind of part of my weekly prep is to look ahead at what it is they're going to be studying and just kind of remind myself a little bit of how I do those types of problems and usually just that quick little review aha that's how I do it and I'll look at a couple of the practice problems in the solution manual and I'll be like, yes, I'm good. I can help them with that. So you don't have to be a math genius to be able to use these materials to help teach your kids. If you have, you know, all of the, the teacher guide and the solution manual, all that stuff, if you have that, you will be fine. Now, in addition to switching back to the traditional Saxon textbooks this year, I also added in a subscription to Nicole the Math Lady. And this is not sponsored or anything. This is uh, simply my review of where we're at with it so far. I was at the homeschool convention back in April and she had a booth there and I had, I had heard of her through many different sources and I had you know, seen her kind of at previously at different conventions. And this time I thought, well, I'm gonna stop at the table. I'm gonna say hi, I wanna meet her. I wanna find out a little bit more about how her program works. And she is incredibly personable. Like she was so like friendly and open in person. And I thought, you know, this is somebody who, who I could learn math from. And I thought this is somebody that my son can learn math from. I did not wanna move away completely from having some sort of tutorial video from him. He is one who learns best through like visual input, like watching and listening to things versus reading and writing. You know, my daughter is the exact opposite. She is a reader, read, write learner. And so reading the textbook and working it out was what was best for her, but he needs to see it and see it worked out and he needs to hear it. And that's how he will learn and uh, take in information the best. So I wanted to make sure I had that component, but you know, he, <laughs> he had even commented like with the tutorial videos from Sherman, one, he said, it's just so like monotonous, like he couldn't engage right with, with the lecturer and the fact that it was always like the same type of screen and the, the same kind of way that things were being worked out. He just needed something that was different. And I thought, well, let's try Nicole, the math lady. The other thing that I really like about that is her tutorial videos are set up to go exactly with the math textbooks, the Saxon math textbooks. She's teaching you what's in these books. So it's like having a math teacher right there in your homeschool room. Now the website is super easy to navigate. So we had a couple, there were a couple of different options. You can go through her website and you'll see that she has got courses for um, all different levels of math, I believe starting at like third grade and going up through 12th grade math. So you can pick which Saxon program that your student is doing. And then she has different types of subscriptions you can do. So depending on whether you have one student, multiple students, or if you're doing this in a co-op setting, there are also options if you just want to have her tutorial videos, or if you'd like to have online grading. So that would be similar to kind of what we have with the Shoreman where they work out the problems and they enter them in and then it auto grades. And then you can have additional tutoring services as well. So there are different options based on what it is you need and what your budget allows for. Now, I decided this year we were gonna go with the simple route. We were simply gonna do the tutorial videos. Now, did that leave me needing to grade every single one of his assignments? Yes, I am back to having to hand grade math, but part of the reason why I'm okay with that is because I wasn't seeing his work done out for a large portion of his Shoreman math. It wasn't, you know, he would jot down notes here and there and then put in the answers, but he wasn't consistent in working out every single problem. Whereas now where he has to write out 
every answer on a piece of paper. I get to see it. I get to see all his steps. I get to see his final answer. It, again, it makes it so much easier for me to be able to find where he's stuck or where he's going wrong and to make those corrections with him. And so I'm okay with having to go back to hand grading math. I think that will be fine. But once we made this purchase, so he's got a profile on there. So he's got his own login and he goes in and it shows the course that he has. And then it's really simple for him to be able to get to the lesson he's on. And this is the other thing that I really like about her website is it's so simple to find what you need. I felt sometimes this Sherman, I was jumping all over the place trying to get what I needed. And even my kids were like, ah, I'm lost. But you simply put in the lesson number that you're on. Like when he's on his main screen, which lesson are you doing today? And then it will take you to that screen. And then there'll be a video to watch. So her lesson videos kind of range in length. I think at most we've seen about a 15 minute video, um, but they range anywhere, I think from, I don't know, seven or eight minutes to 15. Uh, she puts a range on her website to tell you kind of where it's at, but they're not overly long. They are, you know, the, the length of time you need to teach that lesson and go through practice problems. The other thing that I really like is that she has a couple of different things incorporated. Like for some types of problems, we're gonna see graphics up on the screen and then there'll be graphics and then you're gonna see her writing over those. And so as you're working out a problem, you're watching her you know, do it um, live. She's kind of taking you through the steps. But then a lot of times the videos are her in front of a whiteboard teaching. And you might go, well, that seems really, I don't know, like low tech. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares if it's low tech? Is it effective and is it engaging? And that is what I have really liked watching her videos. You know, here's like, I'll show you a couple of quick clips here. I don't wanna show a lot from her website, but just to give you an idea. So, I mean, she's in front of the whiteboard, she's walking you through a problem, she's talking through the steps and she's able to kind of highlight those different things. So you're getting that, you know, eye contact, you're getting that engagement, you're getting to kind of Put a, you know, you're getting to put a face to the voice that you're hearing. And I just feel like he's engaging with that so much better than he was with the previous program. And so I am liking that. And the, the videos, once he's done watching it, she's even got like these little fun things. She calls them like corny brain breaks. And so there's like, you know, some jokes and things like that in there just to kind of give you a little bit of a mental breather before you dive into the assignment. But so far, it's working, it's working well. I mean, it's an adjustment for, for him because for two years he's been doing the whole online thing. And so getting back into the routine of writing out all of his assignments, showing all his work. I mean, he's needed a couple of reminders that he's got to show all of his work on his problems. Um, but once he kind of gets back into that habit, you know, he's gotten much better as we've been working through, through the lessons. And, you know, we are trying to make math as low stress as we can this year in that if a particular lesson is taking a long time rather than making him feel like he's got to push through and spend an, an exorbitant amount of time that day finishing it if we get to a certain point it's like hey you know this is taking extra time why don't you take a break switch over to another subject and let's revisit this maybe either a little bit later today uh, we can work on it you know we could sit back down after supper and work on it or you know, we can finish this up tomorrow. I mean, the nice thing with the Saxon math is that they're typically about 120 lessons and then you have tests built in after every five. And so you really have quite a buffer. If we're doing 180 days of school, that's what our state requires and math won't take 180 days. So we don't have to necessarily say, well, we've got to do a lesson every day for us to get through it all by the end of our school year. You know, we can, work with this. You know, if we need to take an extra day to study for a test, if we need to spend a day kind of going back through a lesson's problems, maybe there's a lesson where, you know, he missed more than he got right. And that tells me that, hey, we really need to go through and, and double check these and make sure we understand them. We can do that. And so I, I do like that about how the lessons are laid out and how we can space it. So in summary, so far, we are liking the fact that we have made this change back. We like having a physical textbook again. I love having a solution manual on hand again. And we're really enjoying the Nicole the Math Lady videos. And I'll continue to give you guys updates throughout the year on how things are going. Um, definitely when I do like our day in the life videos, check out those because we usually will highlight some of the things the kids are working on that day. And um, I will continue to share 
my thoughts on how he's doing with the math and I'll share his input as well on how he's liking the Nicole the Math Lady tutorial videos overall. And then at the end of the year, we'll give you a, a full curriculum review on how it went and if we would do anything different if we could do it again. If you have any questions for me, feel free to drop a comment down below. I will link the Nicole the Math Lady site down there for you if you would like to check it out. Again, it's not sponsored. It is just something that I did my research on and I decided would be something that we would want to try this year. And we are pretty happy with it so far. We're only a couple of weeks into the school year, of course. You know, we are, we are not even to the end of quarter one, but all in all, pretty good so far. Thanks so much for joining me for today's video, everybody. I will see you in the next one. And until then, 